Let's bring your miniature day here at Stargate Studios. Yes, miniature. Johnny, what are you up to? So this is Johnny. Hi. Our VFX supervisor. This is Marvin, who's not allowed to move. What are you doing, Johnny? I am using an app on the phone called Polycam to do a 3D scan of Marvin. In return, turn him into a 3D model to animate at a later stage. Why is it important that Marvin doesn't move, though? The way the app works is it takes a series of photos. Right. It detects Marvin's position from all the different photos. This is a photogrammetry approach. Right, so we've doing. seen on the channel photogrammetry on objects or, or buildings. Now we're doing it on people and not using big expensive equipment, but using a phone. Exactly. Buildings tend to move a little less than people, which <laughs> is why we needed to do the setup for Marvin. Tell us about the lighting instead, because it's quite, it's quite particular. Yes, so the reason why we have this lighting setup is to have as few shadows as possible, so that when we actually turn him into a 3D model, we can then relight him in the 3D software. Is the scan good enough for the level of work we do? In this case, we're, we're creating little versions of the people that we have working here. But for the sake of having some higher quality, what we are doing with Marvin here is we're going to be taking three scans where we're just going around and we have all of Marvin. To get into some higher detail, we do another scan of his head and another scan of his arm. Without the tennis ball, which is exactly. helping him rest so he doesn't get tired. So once all this capturing is done, it gets processed on the phone, right? Processing in this case happens online. Okay. And eventually you get the 3D model. The 3D model. And then you bring it into the software. Exactly. Which so is what you're going to show me right now. All right. So Marvin, you can. Should he stay here? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can. All right. Yeah. We'll be back. Yes. He's done a good job of. So Johnny, this is what we get back from the phone scan. Mm -hmm. Tell me exactly what we're seeing here. So here we are seeing the three scans that we just took. There is the full body scan, the head scan, and there is the scan for the arm, which we will then mirror over. And then we start cleaning up all the extra stuff that we do not need. This is gonna take a while, Johnny. Three hours later. So the cleanup is done. This is the cleaned up version of Marvin and combined into this one model. I don't think Marvin will approve of this. You don't think so? No. Good. <laughs> now, how do we make him dance? We'll need to give him a skeleton, essentially. We can link them to this model. It's essentially like having a digital puppet. I don't think Marvin will approve of me calling him a puppet either. You think he's still there? All right, Johnny, so we've loaded Marvin's model onto this website. Essentially, Mixamo is a collection of animations and motion capture data. Right, so we want Marvin to dance. Exactly, so in this case, we just want to write... A chicken dance. A chicken dance. <laughs> so now we have, have Marvin, Marvin doing the, the chicken dance. Oh, Johnny. Let's give him a nice booty dance. Marvin, Marvin! So Marvin's no longer in his pose. I've got you dancing, Marvin. Can you really do the Macarena? So you've scanned nearly all the Stargate team or a lot of the Stargate team. Exactly. And you can make them dance. Mm -hmm. So what do you have planned, Johnny? You're just gonna have to see. All right. Make sure you hit subscribe. Comment if you have any questions. I'll chase Johnny to make sure we get the answers back to you. Let's roll that Stargate mini party.